Welcome to my channel. Improve your English skills through stories. Listen. The Dwarf Emperor In a certain country, there is a very famous chef. Everyone said, eating the food you cook is the greatest enjoyment in the world. That is truly the number one chef. But because he is so famous, everyone wants to try his skills, so the chef is so busy that he has no time to rest. One day, the chef felt so tired, he thought. I have to go on a trip, go to a place where no one knows me to rest comfortably. So the chef boarded the train, sat for nine days, and finally stopped in a deserted, remote country. Here, he saw something extremely strange, everyone had their legs bent and their backs bent. Walking on the road. Seeing a group of soldiers patrolling, the chef went over to ask. But those soldiers not only did not answer, but also glared at him. After that, he asked a roadside shop owner. This person pretended to be deaf, turned his head away and did not respond. The chef was both sad and strange. He continued walking forward and saw a person trying to pick fruit from a tree. Because my legs were contracted. I kept reaching but couldn't reach them. The chef couldn't hide his question. Hey buddy, why do you keep curling your legs so miserably? The other person looked around and there was no one there, then whispered. The king of our country is only four meters tall, so he ordered all people taller than him to always bend their legs and back, otherwise their legs will be cut off. The chef was very angry when he heard that. Even though the other person stopped him, he insisted on going straight to the palace. When the soldiers brought him before the king, the king immediately gave orders. Quickly cut off his legs. The chef said clearly. Wait. In my country, I am a chef, a very famous chef. Your Majesty, if you don't test my skills and cut off my legs, you will definitely regret it. The king is a man who loves delicious things, so as soon as he heard it, he immediately agreed. Because the chef quickly cooked the king a sumptuous meal. The king tasted a piece, it was truly wonderful, the taste was very delicious and satisfying. Tasting the second piece, the king felt extremely warm and comfortable. By the third bite, the king felt lightheaded and happy as if he was listening to melodious music, it was magical. Now the king couldn't bear to cut off the chef's legs anymore. He even invited the chef in to ask how to make such wonderful dishes. The chef calmly raised his right hand. The king was startled when he discovered that his hand had only three fingers. The king exclaimed. Unbelievable! Your hands are disabled, but you can cook delicious dishes, there must be some secret. Please tell me, how did you do it? The chef smiled and replied. I don't have any secrets. If I have to say it, it's because I never shy away or feel pessimistic when others say. I'm disabled. On the contrary, it reminds me that I have to work many times harder than ordinary people. Only by making delicious dishes do others not notice or even forget that I am disabled. The king listened attentively and seemed to understand something. The chef continued. Because people were afraid that he would cut off his legs. They had to bend their legs and back all day, living in anxiety and fear. Which made them always remember his height. The chef's words truly moved the king. The king immediately abolished his previous unreasonable orders. People all over the country were extremely happy, 
From then on they no longer had to bend their legs or bend their backs when walking. Meaning Story The Dwarf Emperor is a meaningful fairy tale for children, reminding us to always strive to improve in life even though our bodies are flawed. Thank you for watching my video. Subscribe to the channel to learn more useful knowledge.